Oh. And I'm turning mine on mute because I'm doing laundry. There we go. Welcome to Mindset Monday, everybody. Um, it's been a while, a long while for me. Uh, I want to say like two months. That's crazy. Um, I tried the first couple times. So my son had baseball games every Monday night for the last six to eight weeks. And I tried at the first game to um, hop on and our phone, we live way out in the country. And so our phone service isn't the greatest and the ballpark's still out in the country. And I tried and it was like kicking me and kicking me out. Like it was just nuts. I'm like, this isn't going to work. So I've missed you guys. Um, it's nice to be back. Uh, and here they've, if you weren't here earlier, I was saying how they've just thrown me to the wolves tonight. Um, and I'm totally winging it tonight. There are a couple things that have been on my mind and that I've been doing in my business um, that I thought that we could just chat about. So uh, the first one is our current brick, our third brick of this spring summer incentive. Um, I don't even know what you call it. I was gonna say recruiting, sponsoring, not that, getting people to join the club. Um, <laughs> it's not like you're, I guess you could say you're recruiting them to join the club. But, um, so I know that some people just kill it with club. I wouldn't say that I have a terrible, um, club. Like I don't have, I think I have 20 club subscribers or something like that. Um, I wouldn't say that's terrible, but some of them have just like, some of them, I, I didn't even know who they were. They just like, I'm like, how did this person even find me? They're not even near me yet. They joined Sensi Club like through me. That's weird. So um, let's see. Brick one was recruiting and um, one person and getting them to certified. I was like, okay, I can do that. This uh, the second one with the PRV, I could do that. If you know me, you know that I can do PRV in whatever way they want me to do it. I can do it. But then when they said club and they said three people in the club with $50 orders or more, your girl right here froze in place. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Like, and that's something that I think is so important for everyone on every level to realize, like, it doesn't matter if you're a superstar director or if you're an essential consultant at some point we all have that, oh my gosh, I can't do this feeling. And I panicked because I'm like, okay, I, I want those Vans, you guys. I want those Vans shoes. I didn't earn last summer. I don't have the Converse. I want the Vans. So how was I going to do this? I'm like trying to come up with all these different ways of how I'm going to do this. And um, as I was like brainstorming, my first roadblock was but wait, it's not just a new club. It's a $50 club. And the $50 is after their 10% off. And after say they have a $60 um, club, it's after their half off amount and you know, whatever. So um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Okay, so, oh shoot, I'm terrible. I'm not admitting people. I'm just talking away. Um, okay, so I went to the drawing board. Like I went and I looked at all of my uh, most recent customers, what they had been ordering. One of my very most recent customers, when I delivered her order to her, she said to me, this was the end of May. She said to me, hey, I was thinking I don't have my Sensi Club anymore. And call me a bad consultant. I had no idea she didn't have her Sensi Club anymore. And I'm like, oh, okay. She's like, I really need to get that back going. I was just, um, I was just having some hard times and I need to get my whiffs again. So as soon as that incentive was announced and I saw her name, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, she said she needed a club. So boom, um, I got her club. Now something super weird happened and she joined club. So even if they've been a club subscriber before and they come back, if they have a $50 order or more in club, they're counting as a new subscriber, even though they've been a subscriber in the past. 
So she goes to my website and she signs up for club and she tells me she signs up for club and I never get an email that she signed up for club. And I'm like, hmm, okay. So a few hours go by and I still don't have an email. A few more hours and I still don't have an email. So by the end of the day, I have no email. So I get a hold of consultant support. And I'm like, and it was kind of that situation where I helped her get like back into her club. And then um, I think someone's having some issues joining. I, Tara, Tara, put in the chat if you're here. I've like admitted you five times. Um, anyway, so somehow she joined club, but was given no consultant. And she said when she did it, she's like, it was weird. It told me to pick a consultant, but yet you were already my consultant. So I don't know. So anyway, since he got it fixed, it was all good. Then who was my next club? I have two. I don't have all three. I'm trying to think. Oh, a longtime customer. So she's a great customer. She's a good family friend. Um, she orders a ton. And it's one of the, it was one of those where she, she uses our, all of our cleaning products. She uses our laundry products. She has as much wax as a consultant has wax. I mean, like tons and tons and tons of wax. Um, she's constantly buying new warmers and switching them out. And I've said to her for a long time, like one, you need to join. She just retired. One, you need to join. Two, if you're not going to join, you need a Sensi Club. So um, I said to her, because she was ordering like a couple counter clean. I'm like, why don't you just start a club? Like you just need to start a club. You can get your stuff. And she says to me, well, actually, I think I'm going to join in the fall after I have my knee surgery. And I said, well, you could join right now for $25. She's like, nope, I'm going to do it in the fall. I have it in my mind that I'm doing it in the fall. Now, that's a hard thing for me to argue with because I had in my mind when I joined that I was doing it at the start of the year. And yes, I waited from August until December 30th to join because in my brain, it made sense to start a business at the beginning of a new year. And so I feel like I can't argue with that because I know that she's going to join. So I said, okay, well, you still need to start a club so that you're getting a discount and then we can just roll it over to you when you join in the fall. So boom, she did it. Now you guys, I'm on to my third one. And um, I'm, I'm just going to flat out say, this is the hardest brick of all three, I personally feel. Um, so sorry, I have a hair in my eye. So I'm on to this third one. And I'm like, where in the heck am I going to find this third person to join club? Well, we have an amazing whiff box this month, like amazing whiff box, but that whiff box is only $30. So the other day I posted a picture of the whiff box, the inside of the whiff box and, um, basically said, I mean, I did say you're crazy. If you don't order this this month, it's $64 worth of Sensi that you can get for $30 or $15, ask me how. So I had like five people who wanted the box. They wanted the box and wanted the box. So I'm like, okay. And I'm the person that when I joined Sensi, um, I was terrified that people were gonna see me as that direct salesperson. And all I ever wanna do is share. And so while I'm doing this, I'm feeling a little bit out of my comfort zone um, because I feel like I'm really working to persuade these people to join Sensi Club. But as I've done this, I've taught myself um, the amazing perks of Sensi Club. And now just over the last week, um, it's like, it's so stupid for people not to join Sensi Club. I mean, you're if you place a $30 order, you're getting 10% off. When you make it $60, you're unlocking a half price item. It's literally coming straight to your door. You're earning rewards to use on future orders. You actually can even check a box for your rewards 
we don't know this because we're consultants, but I saw behind the scenes. Um, you can check a box. Consultants don't get rewards, by the way. Um, you check a box for your rewards just to roll over to your next club order. So like, say you earned $4 off of one club, you can roll that, those $4 to come off your next club kind of thing. So it's just stupid for people not to join. So all these people now, here comes the mic drop. All these people who want this box, I'm like, I messaged them personally. Hey, I saw you want the box. Um, that's so great. I don't know if you saw that I mentioned you could get it for $15. That's a lot of sensi for $15. Then I kind of researched my customers. I noticed you order counter clean all the time and you order um, whiffs a lot. So if you add all this stuff to your club, you're gonna get 10% off all of that. And then you can get this box for $15. Dun, dun, dun. Not one of them wanted to join the club. <laughs> and I'm like, really? You really don't? I even had someone the other day who orders her and her mom. Now get this, this one gets me. Her and her mom order together a tub of whiffs each month. That's $60. That would be $54. That would count as a club person for this incentive. And she wanted a bottle of counter clean. So I'm like, join the club. You and your mom, you get your whiffs for 10% off and then you get your counter clean for half off. Nope. I'd rather you just do it. I'm fine paying the extra amount. So my whole point in this is that we all hear no, we all hear their excuses but I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping during this time because I know that Karma the other day went through her order history. I think she said for the last six months and any person that ordered whiffs in the last six months, she messaged about club. Um, and then I believe she did it for cleaning products. So it's all these things that people are using all the time that those are your people because who doesn't want a deal? 10% off, potentially they're getting a half price item and then they're getting rewards that they can use on future purchases. So yes, I feel like this incentive, I know I stood at the door of it saying I can't do this, but as I've done it, I've learned and I'm teaching myself and I wanna teach my customers too. And then in the end, you're getting this continued PRV as the months go. So that is my whole thoughts on that. Um, and that I don't want you to not be trying for this incentive because you stood at the door like I did and said, I can't do it. I had that moment, but I'm always going to do it. So here we are. What is today? The 13th? Yes. We're only 13 days into nearly a 60 day earning period. So we've got plenty of time. Ask all your laundry people, ask, share that whiff box this month, because just because it didn't work to turn into clubs for me, doesn't mean it won't work to turn into clubs for you. Um, and bring back my bar. So I had someone ask the other day and I still don't have an answer. So if any of you have an answer, Shonda, you might even have an answer to this. Um, someone said, I have roommates that live in the same house as me. Can they join club or because it's the same address, does it not count? And I don't know that answer. I never investigated that answer. But if you have roommates that live with you, um, that might be something worth finding out. There's no reason why so, that shouldn't count. Well, I don't know because I think that what they're thinking is you can't have two people that live in the same house be a consultant. I mean, you take a college, I just uh, college mom student for instance. Chat. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, I said you would take like college students, for instance, they're going to be two totally different people that live in the same address 
or, you know, just roommates or whatever. I, I can't see how they could do it based on address. I would think it would have to be done based on email. And we okay, will find yeah, out the see, answer to I that. I don't, that's what I think too, because it's like, yes, we will find the answer to that. Um, so with all this incentive talk being said, the and on my mind and something that I think we're all feeling um, <laughs> today, I'm just going to say it because we're honest here, right? Today, when I said, what are we going to talk about tonight on mindset? <laughs> it was how not to be lazy, how to work your business <laughs> during these times. And we're all laughing about it, but it's so true because um, <clears throat> I was actually talking to my husband about it the other day. And I said, you know, like, as with any business right now or any type of work, people just don't want to work. Um, I said, and honestly, in the five and a half years that I've been a Sensi consultant, this is probably the hardest I have ever had to work for things. Um, and do I always want to do it? Mm -mm. Do I feel defeated some days and think, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Yes, I do. But then I have this really cool calendar where I see things like this every day and this every day. And if you know me, you know that I'm palm trees and pineapples and turquoise waters. And my dream is that house on the beach in Hawaii. So you can bet your sweet little cheeks that I'm going to be working through this. I watched a video and I feel like um, all of us superstar directors, Shonda, Jacqueline, myself, and Karma all emailed this out at some point. Um, it was a video by Jennifer Anderson about the dip. And um, something she said in that was what you do now is going to pay tenfold on our next high. So I that literally goes through my mind every day as I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm working so hard right now just to get someone to order a six pack of bars or oh my gosh, I've literally asked every single person to join me and it's only $25. Heck, they could join for free and they're just not. But I haven't stopped talking. And that's something I said that to Roseanne today because Roseanne and I had a quick little chat about um, how hard we're working and maybe that we feel a little bit stuck, but that you can never stop talking. Um, today, I went to Michael's and the liquor store. And at both places, I was doing things for my business. Um, I was buying tissue and bags at Michael's and the lady said to me, oh, what are you making with these? Because all the tissue, I mean, I've bought like a bunch of bags and matching tissue. And I said, oh, I'm a Sensi consultant. Do you know what Sensi is? And she said, yeah, I do. My daughter buys it. And I said, oh, well, I happen to have a, um, I mean, I just call them packets, but they're basically a joint packet and I don't have one sitting here, but in my purse. And I said, oh, well, here's my stuff. I see her all the time. She's the sweetest little thing. She's always in Michael's. I mean, she's a worker. I said, here, I'll give you my stuff and I'll see you in a, in a few days, literally, and see what you thought. And she's like, okay, yeah. She's like, I'd love to see what you're making. So I'm like, okay, great. I'll bring a picture. Um, then I went to the liquor store and I got some stuff for my scent crates this month. And, uh, she's like, what, what do you need all these for? They're a bunch of airplane bottles. And, um, I said, oh, I'm a Sensi consultant. Do you know what that is? And she's like, no, not really. Well, um, at that point I didn't have any more joint packets in my purse, but I did have hand cream samples with my label on it. And I handed her a couple and I said, here, use this. My information's on it. Um, we're a home fragrance company. And she's like, oh, cool. Okay. So I'm not 
I'm not not talking. Um, I might feel like I'm working really hard right now and we all might feel like we're working really hard right now, but that's okay because we're working really hard right now for that next high. And I always feel like the fall's a high. So I just keep telling myself, I am planting all these seeds and they're all just gonna blossom like crazy come August, September, October. They're gonna blossom like crazy and it's gonna grow and it's gonna flourish and it's gonna be beautiful just as it's always been. But if you're not doing those things right now, if you're not talking, if you're not sharing, if you're not continuing to ask every single person despite them telling you no or not right now, your garden's not going to bloom because you're not planting your seeds and you're not watering them and you're not fertilizing them. So keep doing it. Um, even though you don't want to, even though it's maybe some days exhausting, don't stop. Um, another thing that this just kind of came to me, um, this morning I had someone say that they've done everything and I'm like, girl, me too. <laughs> I've done everything too, but have you had an open house? I haven't had an open house in forever. I used to have one like every three months. I haven't had one in forever. So as I said that to her, I'm like, dang, like preach to the choir because I haven't done it either. Um, so instantly I'm like looking at my summer calendar. Okay. When am I going to plan my next open house? I got the date. Um, but Think of like these things that you were doing and maybe you've gotten in this rut where you feel like you're working really hard, not getting anywhere, but are you working that hard? Are you doing the things that you used to do that worked so well, or did you get tired and did you run out of gas? Um, because that can happen. So I want you guys um, to think about something that you did maybe in a high time in your, well, in a high time in your business that like you just did and it was something that worked, but you haven't done it for a long time. Me, it was an open house. I haven't done it for a long time. I love when I do open houses. I have a blast. Everybody comes and we hang out and we smell scents. And my summertime one is always sangria and scentsy. So we're going to make some good different sangrias and um, hang out on the patio. If it would ever be sunny in Washington, we could do that. Um, and we're going to smell the scents. So one thing that you have done in your business in the past that worked, did amazing things for you, but you're not doing anymore. And I know that regardless if you've been a consultant for three months or three years or 13 years, there's something that you once did that worked that you've fallen into this rut and aren't doing anymore. So I want you to do that one thing by the end of July. Okay. Because that's like in the sensi world, the end of summer, because for some reason we like to have fall in August. <laughs> so that's what I want you guys to do work this incentive, share the club, find your clean and laundry and people who absolutely love root beer float. That would be my husband. Um, and offer them the club, share the benefits of club, um, spread the word about club. Then don't stop talking. Don't stop sharing. I don't care if people are telling, you no. I don't care if people are turning you down. Don't stop because if you continue to water those seeds and you continue to follow up with those people and check on those people, they will eventually bloom the dog wants out of the room. That rhymed. Okay, he can hear the kids outside on the quad and he's like digging at the door over there. Anyway, um, that's, that's all I have, that's my, I feel like I'm coming down off my soapbox, but I was on my soapbox and those are my thoughts on some things that are going on in the Sensi world. Um, Shonda, you've been unmuted. Do you have words of wisdom to add? 
Um, I just wanted to say that everybody probably thinks I want to be on Kelsey's team. She's going to the liquor store and it's a team something she's doing. So, <laughs> um, no, it's and, for my um, scent crates. <laughs> <laughs> And this was a great call tonight and, and a really good reminder because y'all, if, if you don't think your leaders get tired, we do. We get tired and we have months where things are not great. And that's just the way it is in this business or any business. It's not just Cincy. You're going to have those ups and downs. And what you do when you're down is going to make all the difference in the world and whether you get to be on the top of that mountain when, when it goes back up because it's going to go back up. So I just wanted to throw that in there and say thanks to everybody that's on tonight. Yes, the mountain will go back up. Um, it was funny because my, my poor husband, I say that, but man, that man can drive me crazy most days. Anyway, he's like gotten to listen to me whine and complain lately. And today his, he owns, we own a trucking company and his semi truck was in the shop over the weekend and he thought it was just this simple thing and <laughs> today he calls me from the shop and he says remember i told you this was going to be like four hundred dollars and i'm like uh-huh he says yeah it was eleven hundred i'm like great like fantastic so um it makes me feel good sometimes <laughs> to be like huh it's not just me okay good I'm glad that everybody feels a little suffer every now and then. That's just my little, that's just my little sassy side. But um, anyway, yes, um, we all get tired, but we can't stay tired. So don't stay tired. I'm super excited. I hope that I see some of you in Salt Lake City um, filling our gas tanks, like not our real gas tanks, <laughs> our gas tanks right here because we're I mean, going to come back and we're fill our gas tanks they can no kidding i'm driving if you <laughs> i'll give you guys my venmo if you want to send me a few dollars <laughs> that'd be great i know tara and trish drive too they might they might need to give their venmo also um yeah but yes okay so what is next monday i don't know what we're doing next monday i will be um making my trek to salt lake city um, I will be in, uh, we're actually staying in Meridian right down the road from home office, um, Monday night. So, um, we'll, we'll do something I'm sure because we won't, I don't know. I don't know. Shonda, will we do something? Will we be here? I don't know if we're we having in a recession. Not, I don't know if we have anything planned or not, but, um, if we don't, we will figure something out. Or we may even end up changing the day and having it while we're in Salt Lake City. So just stay tuned and watch your um, Superstar Directors page for that information. And we'll let y'all know. All right. We will hopefully see you next Monday. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. Bye. Bye.